Gentlemen, Antonio here. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to give the perfect Father's Day gift. Guys, there are some great dads out there. Selfless dads. The problem with a lot of these selfless dads though is that they aren't taking care of themselves. They're going out there and they're looking at clothing, maybe they're looking at a leather bag accessory, they're looking at a watch, and they're saying, you know, I really like this one right here. And I can afford it, but I'm gonna go for this one over here because even though I don't like it as much, it maybe doesn't fit me as well, I'm gonna go with it because the money I save here, I can spend on my family and I can spend on my kids. Guys, as a father of four and having had many fathers go through my programs, I've heard about this. They've told me about this guilt. I felt this guilt. And it's something that when it comes to Father's Day, if you're looking to get the perfect gift, give a father what he loves and what he uses already, but give him better than what he settled for. So many dads out there, they have had to settle and many of them have done it just simply because they want to give more and more to their kids. But the problem there is that they end up with a wardrobe, they end up with accessories, they end up with all of this stuff, which really they, they don't like that much. So if you want to blow it out away, make sure to follow this advice. And I'm going to give you guys three tips, but before I get into that, all the clothing samples I have here, the clothing I'm wearing here, it's brought to you by Leadbury. Guys, if you're not familiar with Leadbury, this company has been with me for about a year now. I've got tons of their clothing. I've put out multiple videos with this company. Great company, and they embody the three points I'm about to get into. Tip number one to giving the perfect Father's Day gift is to upgrade the quality of what he already uses and loves. You can apply this to watches. You can apply this to leather bags. In this case, guys, I'm going to be talking about shirts. So when you want to upgrade the quality of his shirts, first off, let's look at the fabric. The fabric, you want to pay attention to the mill, where the shirts, are basically where the fabric's coming from. So in this case, Thomas Mason Fabrics, I can tell you, when I see this name, this company founded in 1796, when I see a company using Thomas Mason Fabrics or any particular ones coming out of certain mills out of Italy, I am just like, that. that is a great indicator. Because understand that the fabric is one of the main drivers of price in a shirt. So when they use a high quality fabric like that, you can bet that they're going to pay attention to everything else. So, Ledbury, I know that they use Thomas Mason among some other fabrics that they use, but that right there, instant indicator of quality. Also, when I'm looking at them, I look at the buttons. Are they using mother or pearl? Or if they're using a plastic, are they making sure that these buttons are securely sewn? It sounds simple, but you would not believe on le on cheaper shirts, oftentimes I see it so that it looks like the buttons are about to come off and you haven't even bought them yet. So look at that. Look at the actual button holes. Are they clean? Are you know open up the shirt? Look inside of it. Look, you know, I, I've got one of their shirts on shirts on right here, and I can go in and I can look at the stitching. Look at the number of stitches per inch. You want to see at least 14, preferably closer to 18. That tells me that they took the time to go slower with the machine and then therefore put together a better shirt. Also, let's look at the collar. So you want to look at the shirt collar and you want to immediately look underneath. Do they actually have removable shirt stays? It seems like such a small thing, but removable shirt stays indicate to me they spent a little bit more time on the collar, which is also one of the most important and expensive parts of a shirt. And if they spent this extra time, you can bet that they created a quality product. The key point here, guys, is not really to take a risk with this gift, but simply give him something that you know he's going to use and take it to another level. Tip number two, evaluate the fit. And I mean both the fit of the item in terms of how it fits on his body and the fit into his lifestyle. So first off, let's talk about the fit of the clothing. Your dad, if everything in his wardrobe is medium, is, is large, whatever it may be, understand that he's going for a sizing system like that, he's probably settling. Versus if he actually had, especially on shirts, on jackets, on many other items out there, you can get more specific fits. So go out there and actually find out maybe your mom can get his measurements. Maybe you can actually take one of his pieces of clothing that he loves. Find the item that when he wears it, it looks great on him. Measure it out and you can go out there and working with certain companies, again, Ledbury, they've got their own fit guide and I love it when a company actually tells me what the exact measurements are because then you can give him, you can make sure and replicate, you know, why do you like this shirt, dad? Oh, it just fits me. It looks great. You bet it looks great on him. He takes care of his body and of all the shirts, it's the only one that has a good drop that works with them and you can go into some of these companies and you can say, okay, wow, they've got, they've got a slim fit. 
In any case, guys, what you're looking to do is help him create a wardrobe of items that are his favorite shirts versus him just having one or two. Now, let's talk about the second part of fit and how does the clothing he have fit into his lifestyle. Your dad may be retired. He may have take, picked up new hobbies and he may have certain items when he goes out golfing, when he goes out sailing that he's just wearing the same thing again and again. How about you look at what he's doing and how his lifestyle has changed and you actually give him some clothing which suits these new hobbies, these new things that he's doing and actually make him look great. So, tip number three to giving the perfect Father's Day gift is to help him incorporate a bit of style, incorporate a bit of flair into his wardrobe. A lot of dads out there, they're pretty conservative. They don't want to get outside of a box. They fall into habits. Help him if you, maybe he's an avid polo wearer. He likes a simple, solid colored polo shirt. Well, how about bring him something that is a little bit outside of that box. You give him a nice polo, but notice the contrasting color, the distinctive pattern right in here. We've got the contrast on the sleeves, small things like this. You know, he may have never thought to pick it up for himself, so maybe bring in three options. I've got another one right here. Notice the style detail here. Notice the button right here on the collar. Not only is it functional, but it's a little bit more stylish, a little bit more different than many of the polos you're going to see out there. Maybe it's going to be a color issue. Maybe it's something that he's never tried bringing a bit of purple, a bit of lavender, a bit of, you know, checks or patterns like this into his wardrobe. If you're going to do this again, try to give him three options. Like when you give somebody a few different outfits to choose from, all of a sudden it's like, you know, I really like this one, but I'll probably and maybe give him the ability to return and exchange some of those items as well. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, what I like about this one is a small pattern. It still is going to actually work with a lot of different combinations out there. But by the use of us having a little bit of purple in there, it definitely steps outside of a lot of men's boxes. Now, something like this, I know it may be hard on the camera, a little bit difficult to see, but what we've got is solid blue with white dots. Something like this may really step out his comfort zone. On the other hand, you may find that when your dad puts on this shirt, he's like, wow, I love the way this looks and the guy starts wearing it. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, you want to make sure and present your father, present this dad or whoever you're going to give this gift to, even if it's for yourself, you want to make sure that you give them something that they're going to use and they're going to love. Use these tips, guys, and go out there and help them. Just make this the best Father's Day gift ever. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below and go check out the support article. In the support article, I give you two more tips, which I didn't cover in this video. I also link over to all of the items that you saw in this video. And if you're wondering, guys, Ledbury is the company that sent me all of these samples. I'm going to link to them right over here. A great company. I've been with them for almost a year. I've got probably eight of their shirts, a number of their sports jackets, their trousers, ties. Uh, they make a, they, they basically make it so that you can have an entire outfit. And I've talked about interchangeability. And in fact, if you want to check out that video, 120 outfits from 14 pieces of clothing, probably one of my best videos out there in which I talk about, you know, how to take this clothing and intermix it and match it. That's it guys. I'll see you in the next video.